They pile up beside curbs and litter our sidewalks. Now a Vancouver City Councillor wants to do something about cigarette butts. As Shannon Patterson reports, not even a mascot named Mr. Butthead could convince her colleagues to take on the smoldering problem. Vancouver City streets seem clean from a distance, but look closely at our dirty little secret. Well, our downtown clean team that's out Monday to Friday, five hours a day, uh, that's the single most item that they pick up, our cigarette butts. The butts are everywhere. Filthy little filters flicked on the ground. I flick them on the street because there's no place else to put them. What would you like to see? Some type of receptacle for me to put it out in. We think uh, that it can be done like it's been done in other cities, where you attach the cylinder ashtrays to litter receptacles, and uh, people will get accustomed to walking that distance to discard of their butts. There are smokers poles like this one on private property near big office buildings. Even City Hall has trash cans with ashtrays. It can be done. If it can be done at City Hall, it can be done in the city at large. Councillor Adrian Carr wants the city to investigate sidewalk butt receptacles. Other places have done it right. Time for Vancouver. You know, we, we should be the greenest city uh, with a cleaner ground. This is found in Robson Denman. Volunteers from the West End cleanup crew and their mascot, Mr. Butthead, came to council to back Carr's motion. You're laughing at Mr. Butthead? Right, okay. After cracking a few jokes at the former Green Party leader's expense. If we're really going to lick the problem of butts. Oh, oh geez, that didn't come out right there. <laughs> <laughs> the vision-dominated council passed a watered-down motion looking at options for all litter. Unless I pursue this very diligently behind the scenes and citizens get on staff as well to pursue this, we could have nothing happening on this. She vows to fight on until smokers can butt out somewhere other than the sidewalk. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.